longer an option, hospice can provide services to manage symptoms and difficulties caused by illness. Emotional, psychosocial, and spiritual care, as well as support to the families and caregivers, are all part of hospice care. Hospice of South Georgia has been a part of the health community in Wayne and surrounding counties for over 13 years. The professional yet compassionate attention provided by our staff is unsurpassed. Widely supported by donations from the local population, Hospice of South Georgia is the only nonprofit hospice in Wayne County. Our new administrative offices, located at 1625 Sunset Boulevard, have opened recently as Phase 1 of our building project. Hospice of South Georgia accepts anyone who meets hospice criteria, regardless of their ability to pay. Please call 912-588-0080 to speak to someone about hospice care. That was 912-588-0080. We are your hometown hospice, and we are here to serve you. Hospice of South Georgia, working to add life to your days. The manager and staff at First Franklin Financial support our Wayne County Yellow Jacket baseball team and hope they hit a home run every game. You, too, will hit a home run when you visit us, the friendly Franklin folks at First Franklin Financial at 1074 North Macon Street. Call us at 427-4237 or apply online at 1ffc.com. Totally transparent car buying. With Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC live market pricing, know for certain you're buying at the low market price. We constantly monitor multiple auto and competitor websites to always offer the most aggressive market prices. No games, no gimmicks, no kidding. That's why Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC is the home of the no-hassle deal. Skip the runaround and discover the difference of truly transparent buying on every new and pre-owned vehicle every day. We're online just like you, and we continuously scan pricing on hundreds of vehicles to update prices in real time. At Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC, know for certain that our live market price is the low market price. Experience a new and totally transparent way to buy with live market pricing. Chevy, find new roads. Local news on WIFO. It's time now for the latest in local news. In the news, Wayne Memorial Hospital held its annual auxiliary banquet Monday evening at Sybil's Family Restaurant with a great meal and a guest speaker, Earl Rogers. Rogers, the president and CEO of the Georgia Hospital Association. In his role, he leads GHA's 55-member staff and the association's subsidiary organizations representing over 170 Georgia member hospitals. He and his wife, Mary, reside in Marietta, both in time for the event. Rogers had an opportunity to tour Wayne Memorial Hospital while in time. WIFO FM had a chance to talk about his visit to Wayne Memorial Hospital and about his message Monday night to the auxiliary members. Yes, I, I enjoyed my visit today with uh, Joe Iorardi, the uh, CEO of the hospital. Um, he toured me around, and I got a chance to see what teamwork uh, can do when you're building a hospital. He said they put it in place about 11 years ago. And what really struck me was the way he allowed the employees uh, to help them design the hospital. And with the patient in mind, I thought that was uh, a really a good thing. I tour a lot of hospitals around the state, as you can imagine. We've had over 170 hospitals, and Wayne Memorial does it right. And uh, great job. You're speaking to the banquet tonight for the auxiliary. What will your message to the volunteers? Yeah, tonight uh, I'm really pleased to be with the auxilians and the volunteers um, to talk about how uh, they selflessly give of their time uh, to help patients, help the hospital, and uh, how important it is uh, for their for them to do this in a uh, team uh, kind of way, a, a team fashion, uh, and talk about the other auxiliary, auxiliaries around the state. Uh, you know, we have uh, um, over 755 hospital auxiliaries, and this is one of the best in the state. Again, in your job, what are the biggest issues you're dealing with with hospitals? Is it Medicaid, Medicare, is it the opioid epidemic? What, what are the big issues that you're dealing with? Well, the opioid epidemic is certainly a a huge issue now. Uh, You may have heard uh, Senator Johnny Isaacson uh, uh, mention just recently that the the challenge and and what he was faced with when uh, uh, one of his 
uh, relatives uh, died from an opioid overdose just a couple of years ago, and he promised that he was going to work this issue in the U.S. Senate and in the Congress. And uh, as far as other challenges that the hospitals face, frankly, it, it's got to do with the Medicaid and the Medicare reimbursement rate. Uh, you know, those are government programs. Um, however, uh, the government guarantees that hospitals and other providers lose money on that, and they're the only government contractors who lose money on government programs. If you think about it, the uh, defense contractors, the road builders out here, the people who power the uh, even the lights in the government buildings, uh, they're all guaranteed a profit, but hospitals and other Medicaid, Medicare providers are the only ones that it's, it's designed that way, is for them to lose money. So what happens from that? That means people like you and me who have insurance then that money, uh, th th those charges are uh, 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 shifted over. The costs are shifted over to you and me, and that's why our insurance rates go up, it seems, every year. Well, again, appreciate you talking with us, and welcome to Wayne County. Hey, thank you so much, Bob. I really uh, enjoyed it. I appreciate it, and I've enjoyed my time here in Wayne County. And once again, those comments Earl Rogers, President and CEO of the Georgia Hospital Association, again, guest speaker last night at the Auxiliary, Auxiliary Banquet by Wayne Memorial Hospital. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor, the Commercial Messages, so please stay tuned. The Trade Mart at 3689 Savannah Highway has been serving Wayne County and surrounding counties for over 30 years. If it's a small hand tool you're looking for or a 30-ton bearing press, we've got it. You need a tarp? We've got you covered. We have any size you need, from a 5x7 to a 30x60. So if you need a quality tool at an affordable price, come see us at the Trade Mart, 3689 Savannah Highway, or call us at 427-6966. That's 427-6966. The Trade Mart, the tool supply place. When you have an accident, you, not the insurance company, chooses the body shop, and you only need one estimate. All you have to do is call Jerome Riles at BNC Collision Center in downtown Scriven to deal with the adjusters and insurance company. Whether it's a little ding or a major crash, that BNC Collision Center across from Wazden Cabinet Shop in Scriven deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. Call them at 579-2274. That's 579-2274. Way Memorial Hospital salutes its dozens of volunteers during the month of April National Volunteer Month. The hospital volunteers just gave 13,603 hours of their time this past year at our facility. According to Independent Sector, these hours tally more than 335,000 donated in labor. When added to the volunteers' 20,000 cash donation for the year-round fundraisers, a contribution this year to Wayne Memorial equals $355,000. We're proud for every volunteer that greets you at the front desk, helps you in the gift shop or thrift store, transports patients in wheelchairs or beds, helps families in the ICU or surgery waiting area, or works in the office. They are part of what makes our hospital so special and unique. This is Doc Coleman, president of the Volunteer Board. Please join me in recognizing this special group during National Volunteer Month. And if you'd like to join our team as a volunteer, we'd love to visit with you. One County Board of Education said to meet this evening at 6 p.m. at the Tech Center. Personnel, once again, will be on the agenda as the superintendent of the school board looking to name three elementary principals for the next school year. As currently, there are three vacancies with the moves made at the last board meeting. Both current middle school principals are moving to the central office, while Mark Priest will be moving from Jessup Elementary to principal to Martha Puckett. And Scriven Elementary Principal Sean Jones will be moving to Arthur Williams Middle School to be the principal. James E. Bacon Principal Kathy Carter is retiring at the end of the school year, which leaves the openings at James E. Bacon, Jessup Elementary, and Scriven Elementary. After the last round of moves, we talked with Superintendent Jay Brinson about the moves made by the board and the superintendent. We had some... Uh, position here at the central office that come open and we've kind of we're taking this opportunity to kind of reorganize and saw an opportunity to really do a lot of promoting from within we feel like we we, we got we have good people here in wayne county um, that are invested in wayne county been here a long time so we've come up with a plan that we've shift, shifted some folks around i'm going to have some new principals going in next year and that's always a little you know they're the they're the leaders of the school and that's where the rubber meets the road at the school with the the students the teachers and, and that that leadership but uh um, you know, we, we transferred um, uh, 
Sean Yeomans to Arthur Williams to take Reggie Bur- Dr. Rick Burgess' spot, and we transferred uh, Mark Priest over to Martha Puckett Middle School to take uh, Dr. Pamela Schumann's spot, and both those individuals will be coming to the central office with some duties and responsibilities to feel, you know, we had a, you know, um, a couple people retire and move on to a, to other places. So, um, and that leaves us actually three elementary opens openings as of today. We've already advertised those. We're going to move fast in a hurry. You know, we're we're going to start off looking with from within. We've worked hard in these last uh, four years to try to. You know, grow folks. We've invested a lot of um, time, effort, resources, and money training into to our current staff and uh, assistant principals. Um, and so we think we got some good candidates there that we're hoping that will that apply and work through the process and and hope to have some recommendations to the board um, as, as soon as we can. Well, you being a former principal, both the elementary and the high school, you know how important those principal positions are. They're crucial. Oh, they're crucial. They're the ones that are. Um, they're, they're the ones doing the work and working with the teachers and trying to deal with that day-to-day stuff that allows teachers to focus on um, every student every day with instruction. That's, that's what we're charged to do to ensure the learning of, of the young people in the building. Another item on the board meeting was budget discussions underway with that. You recently received a flip of money. I mentioned you don't budget that money because you don't ever expect it to come, but now mm-hmm. that it's come, what does that mean for the school system? Will that be able to do projects that have been put on hold, or how is the board approaching that? Well, you know, right now we are in a, a little bit of a critical place as far as uh, income. We're coming, we're winding up our East Bloss. We'll be going to the voters uh, this November to ask them to to continue that, you know, that penny investment in our, our, our kids, our education here in, in Wayne County. Um, but we we really were aggressive in our building uh, program and finishing up those two schools. We are really, you know, we were really concerned about getting through the next. Um, t- uh, really, twelve months financially without having to take out a tax anticipation note. Um, you know, we're going to be able to pay the bills one way or the other. But that's those notes are are not free, so we're trying to be good stewards of our taxpayers' money and not have to do that. This, you know, unexpected, you know, because we've not included it in our budget as you stated before, puts us in a lot better shape financially. Uh, you know, as of last night, we're not moving forward with any the projects that we discussed. Right now, for, and I think that's a wise choice. That's what I recommend in the board supporting that at this time. For, for the, one reason is that's going to take time to get those projects kind of reset and going. There's a process. You have to have plans and architect, get things approved. Um, the board has to approve it, those types of things. So you have to choreograph all of that with what's actually going on at the site. You know, we can't, uh, we can't, we don't want to disrupt any sports or any any of the school business going on during the year. So. Us waiting till, um, you know, till we pass the East Bloss, really the, the first of next year, really puts us in a position where we w- should be able to begin multiple projects at a time it, without the risk of having to take out an unnecessary loan. And speaking of the East Bloss, the voters in November, how soon will people see a list of where the money's going to go? I know we mentioned school buses, technology. Are there any other, I don't know, the James E. Bacon renovation project, things like that? Yeah, it's, it's going to be pretty simple. And uh, really the next several meetings that's pretty much going to be a, a standard uh, item on the agenda we needed to get through that budget process uh, yesterday you know we spent about two hours and a half because mostly budget in a call meeting and in the regular meeting um, so we're over that hump a little bit we had to decide what we we're going to include in our regular budget and what we're going to you know write down and, and commit to making it a, a sure enough east blast item so uh, those will be coming out we'll be discussing those at, at you know it kind of at length because the board does have to approve those we need to we have to formalize those estimates and projects and include them in the actual East Boss ref- referendum that we'll have to write and, and, you know, again, go to the voters in November. Okay, Jay, thanks. Thanks, Bob. Any of those comments were Jay Brinson at the last board meeting. Also on the agenda tonight, several recognitions and board policies. Also report on the high school athletic program by the academic coach. All that tonight at 6 p.m. The Tech Center will have a full report for you on Wednesday's newscast. We'll come back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. The Trademark at 3689 Savannah Highway has been serving Wayne County and surrounding counties for over 30 years. If it's a small hand tool you're looking for or a 30-ton bearing press, we've got it. You need a tarp? We've got you covered. We have any size you need, from a 5x7 to a 30x60. So if you need a quality tool at an affordable price, come see us at the Trademark, 3689 Savannah Highway, or call us at 427-6966. That's 427-6966. The Trademark, the tool supply place. 
The helpful folks at Harris Ace Hardware says thank you for choosing them as your favorite place to buy hardware and building materials. At Harris Ace Hardware, they've got what you need to get any project done. You'll find great deals on everything to paint a room, clean your home, or take care of your yard. And lumber and building supplies from everything to build a new home to a doghouse. Harris Ace has the names you trust like Clark and Kensington, Craftsman and Scott's, Yeti Coolers, and the helpful advice you need to tackle any task. For the people and brands you can trust, shop at Harris Ace Hardware. Morton Collision is located at 1320 West Pine Street in Jessup. Morton's offers free estimates, 23-hour towing, and they guarantee their work. Call 427-3769 or after hours, 912-294-6140. The staff at Morton Collision Center works with all insurance companies. So for guaranteed work with a qualified staff, go to Morton Collision at 1320 West Pine Street in Jessup. Morton Collision, quality you can see. Do you need a new lawnmower? If so, head to Night Saw Company in Baxley. Choose from a large selection of name brand mowers. Night Saw Company offers the best lawnmowers at the best prices anywhere. They also have in stock belts, batteries, and parts for all mowers, along with name brand trimmers, blowers, and hedge trimmers. For over 50 years, Wayne Countyans have been getting their power lawn equipment and parts from Night. Night Saw Company on the Jessup side of Baxley on Highway 341. Final notes and news. Today's the last day to register to vote if you want to vote in the May 22nd primaries in the general election this November. If you're not registered to vote and want to be registered to vote, to vote, simply stop by or call the registrar's office today at 427-5950. They are open today. Yesterday was a holiday. WIFOFM continues to bring you comments from the candidates running for political office. This week, three candidates lined up for the world-famous Butch and Bob show. This morning, incumbent in District 3 on the County Commission Board will join us, Mike Roberts. Then on Wednesday of this week, challenger in District 3, Republican Ballot Farrell Cooksey will join us. And then on Thursday this week, we've got State Representative Candidate Delvis Dutton will join us. He's running for State Representative seat currently held by Bill Workheiser. Workheiser is seeking re-election in that seat as well in Atlanta. Once again, we invite you to join us all this week and all the way through November as we continue to bring you comments from the local and statewide candidates seeking political office in the year 2018. Again, this morning, Mike Roberts, the incumbent, will join us on the world-famous Butch and Bob Show. Finally, in the news tonight, don't forget the circus in Odom, Georgia. The Zabrini Family Circus returns. Again, it gets underway at 6 p.m. at the Odom Recreation Complex. Again, advanced tickets available, tickets available at the event. Again, $15 per adult and $10 per child. For Again, kids three and under will be admitted free. Again, that circus is tonight in Odom, 6 o'clock at the Odom Rec Center. That's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan, Center have a great day. You've been listening to local news on WIFO. Ultima Hot Classic Cruisers presents Cruising to the Oldies, sponsored by R&R Auto and Camper Sales. Saturday, May 5th from 9 until 2 in downtown Jessup, benefiting the Boys and Girls Club, Fairhaven Women's Shelter, Hospice of South Georgia, and 4-H. Registration from 9 until 11, $25. Best of show, older and newer vehicle, club participation, top 30 classic autos and trucks, plus categories for newer autos and trucks, imports, rat rods, pro street, and resto rods. Door prizes, a TV drawing, 50-50 raffle, and great music. Cruising to the Oldies, sponsored by R&R Auto and Camper Sales. Saturday, May 5th from 9 until 2 in downtown Jessup. For more information, 269 269- we are having a great day at CHSGA Home Health. We know there's no place like home when recovering from an illness or surgery. CHSGA Home Health provides the compassionate care and services you or a loved one is in need of. Our services include skilled nursing, physical, occupational, speech therapy, and IV medication therapy. CHSGA Home Health has multiple disease management programs designed to meet your individual needs. Give us a call to hear more about how we can help you to have a great day as you recover in the comforts of your home. 912-916-9195. That's CHSGA. Home Health. Hi everyone, our Tuesday forecast is going to be sunny. What a pretty day in store. Afternoon highs today, climbing close to 80 degrees. We'll be clear tonight. Wednesday and Thursday, wake up, do it all over again. With sunshine, highs will be upper 70s with a few low 80s. Maybe a spotty shower Thursday night, Friday, sunshine, highs close to 80 degrees. I'm Georgia meteorologist Laura Huckabee in the GNN Weather Center. When you have an accident, you, not the insurance company, chooses the body shop, and you only need one estimate. 
All you have to do is call Jerome Riles at BNC Collision Center in downtown Scriven to deal with the adjusters and insurance company. Whether it's a little ding or a major crash, that BNC Collision Center across from Wazden Cabinet Shop in Scriven deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. Call them at 579-2274. That's 579-2274. Here's your menu in the Wayne County School System for Tuesday, April 24th. Lunch! Lunch menu! Elementary and middle school breakfast, grits, eggs, and ham. Elementary and middle school lunch, hot dog with fries and baked beans. High school, chicken tenders or hamburger steak, plus the pizza line every day. Lunch menu brought to you by First Franklin Financial in the shopping center between Walmart and Goodwill. Lunch menu! W-I-F-O-F-M, Big Dog Country. It's time to check your birthdays and anniversaries. Brought to you today by Bargeron Power Sports. Birthday wishes going out today to Billy Hollingsworth and Sherry Wasden. Billy Hollingsworth, Sherry Wasden. Happy birthday from the Trapnel family today for Billy Hollingsworth and Sherry Wasden. Robin Eubank, State Farm List on a Tuesday morning. Thomas Davis celebrating. Thomas Davis. Henry Marrier, Henry Marrier celebrating. William Hollingsworth as well. William Hollingsworth. Jody Westbury on the list. Jody Westbury. Yolanda Garcia, Yolanda Garcia. And then Kenneth Holcomb. Kenneth Holcomb rounding out the uh, Tuesday list for the Robin Eubank State Farm birthday calendar. Please li- wish Linda Rowe, Linda Rao, happy birthday from your SunTrust family. For Linda Rowe, happy birthday from your SunTrust family. Cal Reinhardt, happy 38th birthday, Cal. We love you from Mom and Dad. Cal Reinhardt, 38 with love from Mom and Dad today for Cal Reinhardt today. Shelby Daniels, happy 23rd birthday to my precious granddaughter, Shelby Daniels. I love you and hope you have many more. Love you to the moon and back from Grandma. That's for Shelby Daniels, 23. Shelby Daniels is 23. Cooper Hope. Today is Cooper Hope's 24th birthday. Happy birthday, Cooper. We love you, Mama, Daddy, Reese, and West. Cooper Hope from Mama, Daddy, Reese, and West. Cooper is 24 today. Long County calendar on the 24th. In memory of Virgil Jackson, in memory of Virgil Jackson, happy birthday to Kenny Roach. Kenny Roach celebrating. And then in memory of Ashley Hall, in memory of Ashley Hall. So in memory of Virgil Jackson and Ashley Hall, and then happy birthday, Kenny Roach. That is the Long County calendar this morning. So over to Textosos at 912-427-3711. You've got time to shoot one in right now, as a matter of fact. Happy 12th birthday to Carson Chestnut. Love your Nana. Carson Chestnut with love from Nana. Also wishes for Carson today. We hope you have a great day. Love Uncle Ben, Aunt Jill, Samantha, and... uh, Graham for Carson Chestnut, who is 12. Also for Carson from Uncle Johnny, Aunt May May, Joshua, Caleb, Kristen, and Jada wishing Carson Chestnut happy 12th birthday for Carson Chestnut today. Happy birthday, Emma Pye. Emma Pye is 11 today. That's from Aunt Lori, Uncle Tony, Appa, Marissa, Kelsey, and Uncle Kenny wishing Emma Pye happy 11th birthday for Emma Pye. Also from Daddy, Grandmama, and Granddaddy, and Ethan, wishing Emma Pye happy 11th birthday today for Emma Pye, who is 11. Happy birthday to Mallory Gilchrist and Sherry Wasden. Mallory Gilchrist and Sherry Wasden from Joey Smiles Photography today. Mallory Gilchrist and Sherry Wasden. Happy 12th birthday, Carson Chestnut from Dylan, Skyler, Braylon, and Isla Fay. We love you for Carson Chestnut, 12. From Dylan Schuyler, Braylon, and Isla Fay. Happy birthday. Shelby Daniels celebrating. Shelby Daniels from Mom and Dad with love today for Shelby Daniels. Shelby Daniels from Mom and Dad with love today. And then happy birthday to yeah Shelby Daniels from Mom and Dad with love from April 24th. I was wondering why that time stamp was earlier than the one on top of it that's from last year okay why would you want to sort them by date uh, i don't know okay what is the... <laughs> oh that's funny but i can't say that on the air thank you for commenting 
You've got time to shoot with it via text at 912-427-3711. Thank you for waking up at WIFO-FM. Birthday's anniversary is brought to you today by Barger and Power Sports. Famous birthdays today, singer Kelly Clarkson is 36. You know, after Idol and after, um, you know, my first couple tours, I started breaking out all along my chin, and then I'd start getting a little bumps here, and it was really gross. Singer Barbara Streisand is 76. Barbara Streisand told an interviewer from Australia she would either come to that country or go to Canada. Let me check. Still here. And Chipper Jones is 46. What's up, Braves country? Thank you all very much. It's, it's been just an unbelievable day for the, for the Jones family. All right, I did see a text here somewhere. I've got to scroll through that. I did not see any more emails. So we'll do some uh, forensic searching here. We'll come back with your big dog country birthday cake winner on a Tuesday morning. We'll do that right after this for Barger and Power Sports. Barger and Power Sports invites everyone to come visit their unbelievable new showroom on Highway 301 South in Jessup and on Highway 341 in Brunswick. They have a great selection of ATVs, golf carts, mowers, and more. Barger and Power Sports carries Arctic Cat four-wheelers and side-by-sides, the new popular Canyon four-wheelers and side-by-sides, cruise carts, and Yamaha golf carts. Barger has the full line of Kimco scooters. Don't forget, Barger and Power Sports offers a complete service department for all your service and repair needs. Stop by today and check out Bartram Power Sports, Highway 301 South in Jessup, and their new location on Highway 341 next to I-95 in Brunswick. Your big dog country birthday cake winner on this Tuesday morning. Happy 12th birthday, Carson Chestnut. Picks up the cake from the Jessup Piggly Wiggly Bakery. That certificate is here at the station. Come, I picked that up. It's good for today only. Then you can head to the pig and claim your prize. Bartram Power Sports brings you the birthdays and anniversaries. Brunswick Jessup, online Bartram Power sports.com wishing Carson Chestnut happy 12th birthday big dog country birthday cake winner all right I think the text that came in was more wishes for Carson from Uncle Johnny Aunt May May Joshua Caleb Kristen and Jada I hope that was it I don't see anything else that came in to be refreshed thank you for waking up at WIFO FM big dog country 736 on this Tuesday morning it's the 24th day of April Happy birthday. Carson Chestnut 12, the birthday cake winner from the Jessup Piggly Wiggly Bakery. Here's your menu in the Wayne County School System for Tuesday, April 24th. Lunch. Lunch menu. Elementary and middle school breakfast, grits, eggs, and ham. Elementary and middle school lunch, hot dog with fries and baked beans. High school, chicken tenders or hamburger steak, plus the pizza line every day. Lunch menu brought to you by First Franklin Financial in the shopping center between Walmart and Goodwill. Lunch menu. The new quick service is going over great here at Woody Folsom Overflow in Jessup. Check us out for routine maintenance and we'll keep you happy. Hey, that's the way we roll. Tell it like it is. Y'all treated us great and we want you to know we appreciate it. Ask about our free lifetime powertrain warranty. Good as long as you own the car. Lim Tootin's our general manager and he and the Overflow team know how we do business. We sell every vehicle like we sell it to our daddy. And we service every vehicle like it belonged to our mama. Y'all come and get ready to go home happy. Woody Folsom Overflow, 448 North 1st in Jessup. Pristine pre-owned vehicles at those awesome Woody Folsom prices. Now with quick service, too. Come see us. We want you happy. Oh, Darlene was up to the Y'all Mart the other day, and some lady come up to her and asked her, did she have a tattoo? Darlene said, huh, that'd be like putting a bumper sticker on a Ferrari. <laughs> Mama, you won't do. Oh, yeah, I will. (laughs) Woody Folsom Overflow, 448 North 1st in Jessup. This is Charles Huffman at Jessup Housing Outlet. If you haven't been to Jessup Housing Outlet lately, you're missing out on a large selection of new and exciting floor plans from the nation's top manufacturers like Clayton, Fleetwood, Scott Built, and Homes of Merit. All of our homes feature modern kitchens and appliances, our 60 and higher insulation values, thermopane windows, and energy efficient heat pumps. We have two locations to serve you, 2452 Savannah Highway in Jessup and Highway 301 South between I-16 and the bypass in Statesboro. Come see Charles they are shared it today. Here are some of the awesome April buys at Harris Ace Hardware. Get a Black & Decker Sander or Jigsaw for only $19.99 with your Ace Rewards card. Ace Premium 8-Piece Paint Tray Set on sale for just $9.99 with Ace Rewards card. 
Roundup Weed and Grass Concentrate, 38.8 ounce container, on sale for just $17.99 with a rewards card. Harris Ace is your local hometown stocking dealer for yellow wood treated lumber, Traeger grills and accessories, Yeti coolers, Coastal DeMar sunglasses. Harris Ace Hardware, West Cherry Street in Jessup. At 739, 21 until 8. Good morning from WIFO FM, the big dog in Jessup. It is time to check that GNN Weather Center forecast. Hi, everyone. Our Tuesday forecast is going to be sunny. What a pretty day in store. Afternoon highs today, climbing close to 80 degrees. We'll be clear tonight. Wednesday and Thursday, wake up, do it all over again. With sunshine, highs will be upper 70s with a few low 80s. Maybe a spotty shower Thursday night, Friday, sunshine, highs close to 80 degrees. I'm Georgia meteorologist Laura Huckabee in the GNN Weather Center. River level at 8.7 feet, projected to crest right around 8.9, 8.7 river level. Low tide in about an hour at 8.29. High this afternoon, 2.32, 6 feet. Low again tonight, 8.51. Sunset at 8.02. Temperatures in the upper 50s and low 60s. We've got 58, 5.8 here at the Big Dog WIFO. That's your GNN Weather Center forecast on FM 105.5. At 7.40.20 until time to check in with state news from GNN. Brought to you this morning by England's Mobile Glass and England's Collision Center. England's Collision Center and Mobile Glass. You know a good feeling is when you pick up your car satisfied. England's Collision Center and Mobile Glass. Serving our community for over 20 years for all your collision and windshield needs. England's Collision Center, located at 586 Southwest Broad Street. 912-588-9922. From the Georgia 811 Call Before You Dig News Center, I'm Matt Cook with the Georgia News Network. Atlanta attorney Tex MacGyver has been found guilty of felony murder and other charges in the shooting death of his wife. Took the jury four days to reach a verdict. They told the judge they were deadlocked earlier yesterday, but the judge told them to keep trying. They reached a verdict a few hours later. The verdict carries a mandatory life sentence, but sentencing will come later. MacGyver shot and killed his wife back in 2016 as they rode in an SUV in Atlanta. MacGyver said the shooting was an accident. The cost for the city of Noonan for the neo-Nazi rally and counter-protest last weekend could get into the hundreds of thousands of dollars because of the police and security that had to be hired and brought in. This woman doesn't think it's fair the neo-Nazis paid only a $50 permit and the city has to foot the bill. And yet all they get in here with a $50 permit and this taxpayer had to pay for all the, the uh, police force and everything. That from CBS 46. A Savannah man's been sent to life in prison in the murder of an Army captain in the city's historic section. Shannon's Mark Woolsey has more. Dion Monroe Jones was convicted on felony murder charges Saturday in the 2004 killing of Captain Scott Corwin. The victim died during a robbery attempt as he walked his girlfriend home following a night out. On Monday, a judge sentenced Jones to life with the possibility of parole and an additional 10 years for influencing a witness. Corwin was stationed at Fort Stewart and was set to be deployed to Iraq. I'm Mark Woolsey, GNN News. So it appears a deal has been worked out between Piedmont Healthcare and Blue Cross Blue Shield. The agreement was announced yesterday. The two sides had been at odds for days, leaving more than 600,000 Georgians in a situation where they were out of network. The governor met with the two sides last week, urged negotiations along. The original contract expired April 1st. I'm Matt Cook, GNN News. Empower survivors and celebrate those who are working to end the crime of domestic violence by attending Partnership Against Domestic Violence's annual Hearts with Hope Gala, 6.30 p.m. on May 19th at the Whitley Hotel in Buckhead. This event is the organization's largest fundraiser and will gather supporters from across Metro Atlanta, paying tribute to domestic violence survivors who have transformed their lives through empowerment, courage, and determination. To purchase tickets or sponsorship, visit padv.org. This is power. This is tradition. This is Talladega. The biggest party in NASCAR returns April 27th through 29th. Pack up the crew and head out to Talladega Super Speedway for race weekend, April 27th through 29th. Geico 500 ticket holders can enjoy free camping in three different campgrounds around the track. This is more than a race. This is Talladega. 
listening to Big Dog Country. Now, three minutes till showtime. Still time to visit our refreshment stand. This is the week where we salute all secretaries and administrative professionals. The following businesses, individuals, and organizations would like to salute their secretaries and administrative professionals. Interstate Credit Union salutes Ashley Kilpatrick, Macy Topham, Roslyn Phillips, Tamara Williams, Jody Wheelis, Sydney Tatum, Virginia Robertson, Bree Sanders, Stacy Branch, Pam Leggett, Teresa Pittman, Melanie Vaughn, Linda Tharp, Natasha Smith, Chastity Davis, Karen Dennison, Christy Johnson, Cindy Van, Crystal Dixon, Donna Gilner, Catherine Drury, Carrie Grantham, Sonia Royal, and Mary Kersey. Jones Prescription Shop salutes Megan Hilliard, Joy Johnson, Misty Moore, Nicole Mitchell, Fonda Boudreau, Heather Landon, Brooke Ogden, Angie Chancellor, and Aaron Long. The commercial truck driving program at Coastal Pines Technical College takes you where you want to go in record time. In less than eight weeks, you can be on the road to a new career while traveling the USA. The Hope Grant and Hope Career Grant and other financial aid opportunities may be available. Classes are in Baxley, Brunswick, and Waycross. Hurry, though. Classes begin May 14th. Visit coastalpines.edu to apply or visit a campus near you, an equal opportunity institution. Learn to live at Coastal Pines Technical College and get moving. When you have an accident, you, not the insurance company, chooses the body shop, and you only need one estimate. All you have to do is call Jerome Riles at BNC Collision Center in downtown Scriven to deal with the adjusters and insurance company. Whether it's a little ding or a major crash, that BNC Collision Center across from Wazden Cabinet Shop in Scriven deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. Call them at 579-2274. That's 579-2274. Good morning from WIFOFM Big Dog Country at 746 on this uh, Tuesday morning, 24th day of April. Where have four months of 2018 gone? Just whoosh, right on by. Let's uh, zoom in on the Sports Cave webcam. All right. It looks like he's making some pencil notes as he edits up and marks up his uh, copy for sports, which is headed your way next on WIFOFM. Uh, but right now on FM 105.5, it is time for the Family Minute. With Mark Merrill, brought to you by Wayne Obstetrics and Gynecology. Dr. Harris and the staff of Wayne Obstetrics and Gynecology want to wish the Wayne County Yellow Jackets the best this season. Dr. Jeffrey Harris offers comprehensive care for women in Jessup, Wayne County, and the neighboring areas. He is board certified in obstetrics, gynecology, and family practice. Dr. Harris offers health care to women in any stage of life. Call them at 530 730 